Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you have subscribed by now and have already turned post notifications on. If you haven't, make sure that you do because today I have for you another favorites video. I did my first favorites video last month in December. It was a part of Vlogmas. So I'll go ahead and link that right now. I'll link it down below in the description box as well. And I just had a lot of fun with that, just like random stuff that I'm kind of into right now. So I thought that I would come and do it again because it's probably been over a month because it's been a month since Christmas already. Wow, that's so that's so fast. Um, and I have a couple new favorites going on. So I just thought this would be fun. So if you haven't, make sure that you subscribe. Make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can get daily updates about health, fitness, and nutrition as well. And let's go ahead and get started. So just like last time, I'm doing things in different categories. That just makes sense to me. I think it makes more sense for you guys too because you like know what I'm talking about and like sort of different categories maybe that I'm into. I don't know, but that's what I'm gonna do again. I did it last time, we're gonna do it again. Categories are a little bit different. Some are the same, some are not here this month, so maybe we'll get back to them. I don't know. We'll see what I'm into in February. Anyways, gonna go ahead and start with home and beauty. My first favorite is gonna be these black eye masks. The brand is black, B-L-A-Q, and these are just for under your eyes. They have hyaluronic acid. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I got these in my FabFitFun box. I did a little unboxing of that, so make sure you check that out. And I have been using them once to twice a week since then. They feel really nice and cool on my face. They don't irritate my skin. They don't make me itch or tingle at all, which is really important for me. I have very sensitive skin. And I don't know how much they're really decreasing puffiness, but that's what they're supposed to be doing and it does feel good, so I think something is going on. And actually, now that I think about it, lately I don't feel like I've had a lot of under eye puffiness, which I do kind of suffer from, so maybe these really are working even more than I thought. I will probably go get some more because I'm going to be out soon. I think I have one more in here, but these are a favorite of mine. It's a lot less intrusive or like demanding, I would say, than a face mask because I only leave them on for like 5 to 15 minutes and even if I left them on for like 20 minutes, you literally just take it off. It's not like you have to clean your face off, which can be kind of annoying to me with face masks. But my first favorite of the day are these black eye masks. My second favorite actually also came from my FabFitFun box and that is the Moroccan hair treatment. I actually just used it in the shower like an hour ago. So I've used it three times now and the directions say to use a or take like a generous amount in your hand. Today I took a very generous amount and I would still say I have two to three or maybe even more uses in it. So I don't know how much that goes for. I will want to rebuy that as well or purchase that when I run out as well. I don't know how much that is, but it's probably worth it because my hair is so, so, so soft right now. I'm just using it in place of conditioner. So if you're looking for a good hair mask, I would highly suggest the Moroccan hair treatment. My next favorite is a three wick candle from Bath and Body Works. I found this one so I put it out. It's in Chris Morning and it really smells just fresh and nice. I have it downstairs. I light it if I'm watching TV down there like at nighttime even though it's not the morning. I think it still smells good. Uh, or if I'm just going to be downstairs doing work, eating breakfast, whatever, whatever. It smells so so good and I guess what I really like about it is because it's Chris Morning and right now it's January. It's not really New Year's anymore, it's the end of January, it's definitely not Christmas, but it is still like winter, cold, crisp mornings are happening. And so I just think it's a nice non-holiday, like neutral, like gender neutral candle, if you will. A holiday, a season neutral. I guess it's not season neutral because it is a winter candle, but it, it, it makes for a very good candle for any time of the day and it's just kind of relaxing, it's very nice, it's not overwhelming. So that is gonna be my third favorite for today. Finally, I have been really into sleeping with essential oils and I know that sounds so basic, but um, I went over to my sister's house and they had like an air diffuser in, or an oil diffuser in every single room and I was just like really blown away. The house was just so nice, it smelled so great. And I realized that I also have 
an oil diffuser. So I've been having that next to the bed. Mostly I think I've been doing lavender. I do believe the lavender is for nighttime. And then I've recently been doing some eucalyptus because if you can still tell my nose is a little bit stuffed up. So I guess it's not really making my nose <laughs> any more clear, but it is just kind of nice to have something going and a nice calming scent like lavender happening at nighttime. So I have been really into that lately. And that reminds me that right after I started doing that, I really, really love, this is not a like monthly favorite, this is an all time, all the time favorite. I really like adult cartoons and I really like Bob's Burgers. And <laughs> right after I started sleeping, like a couple of nights into sleeping with the diffuser on, there was a new episode of Bob's Burgers out where um, the mom, and now I of course can't think of her name, gets like, is starting to get roped into a, what do you call that? Like a pyramid scheme of oil diffusing. It's really, really good. And for some reason, I think it's so cute to see a cartoon oil diffuser. <laughs> so also a little bonus, you guys should check that video out. But other than that, or that, mo that, sh that episode out. Other than that, uh, those are my home and beauty, I guess you would say, because a candle's not really beauty, uh, favorites for January. Let's move on to health and wellness, I guess you can say. So if you follow me on Instagram, I've posted a couple of times about this, but something I'm really into right now is simply getting in 10 minutes of stretching. I am not a yoga kind of girl. I'm not a slow down kind of person. I am all go all of the time. What are we doing next while I'm currently doing this? I'm thinking three things ahead and I cannot be stopped. But that being said, I need to stretch. I am very tight. I do work out a lot. I'm pretty active. And even still, even if you're not active, you that's also a good reason that you need to get some stretching in or just some mobility. I don't know, I hate to use that word, but like just some stretching. Because I don't really like yoga though, like I'm not gonna be like, I'm not gonna make it a goal of mine to go to a yoga class a week or even a yoga class a month. It drives me insane. I can't do it. That's not for me in my headspace. But what I can commit to is simply 10 minutes of stretching. And I just do that after my workout before my shower because I don't want to get like dog hair all over me. Um, and I just do whatever feels good, whatever feels right. It's probably not as great of 10 minutes of stretching as it could be, but it is definitely 10 times better than doing zero minutes of stretching. So I'm going with that. I have been pretty consistent on that. And when I'm not, I actually can tell even more now that I've missed a day or I've missed two days and I really need to get it in. So I think that's a benefit too because it's making me more aware of my own body. So if you're not into stretching, I get it. I totally get it. I'm not into it either, but you can probably manage 10 minutes. I just set a timer, do what feels good, what feels right, and then when the timer goes off, I'm very proud of myself. So a health and wellness sort of tip, sort of favorite, kind of both, 10 minutes of stretching. My next favorite isn't really revolutionary, but it's something that I've recently started. And I have recently been using the sleeping app on my iPhone, or the bedtime app, excuse me, on my iPhone. I don't really know what all it does, and it would probably work better if I had an Apple Watch, but I just have a Garmin watch, so they obviously don't sync up. But basically, I can tell my phone what time I'm gonna be, I do what time I'm assuming I will fall asleep by. My phone is reading it as, what time I'm in bed because I think it's waiting for an Apple Watch to tell it that I'm actually asleep now. I put in what time I'm going to fall asleep by, I assume, and then what time I wanna wake up. And then you just get a, see right there, like how many hours of sleep you're going to get. So if one night I'm only getting six hours of sleep, which would be really a light amount of sleep for myself, at least I know it right then and I'm not like, to waking up the next day so tired or like a day from then, even the next day after being so tired, I know what's going on and I'm just more aware of how many hours of sleep I'm getting in because for myself and probably for you too, sleep is a huge factor and can make you feel so much better when you're feeling pain, when you're feeling run down, when you're feeling even like bloated or you're not able to lose weight. 
a couple good nights of sleep of sleep can make up for all of that and it's so easy to just sleep so I'm really liking that bedtime app. I can't imagine I would ever do a favorites video without including some food so this video is gonna definitely have some food in it. I have talked about the Pamela's mini chocolate chip cookies a couple of times. I recently bought the double chocolate cookies um, and those might have been in my last favorite video, I don't really remember now. But they're okay, the double chocolate ones, but the mini chocolate chips I cannot say enough about. They taste exactly like Famous Amos if you've ever had that. The macros are actually better, so even if you're not gluten-free, you might want to consider if you're trying to eat some chocolate chip cookies during the day. Four is a serving size and these cookies fit easier into your day at least than Famous Amos does. It tastes exactly the same. It doesn't taste healthy, like it tastes like a cookie should, and I'm about my dessert tasting like dessert. I'm not a fruit for dessert kind of girl. So those are a major favorite of mine because I picked up a couple of boxes for like my gluten-free favorite gluten-free desserts video. Check that one out. I'll link that down below as well. Now I just like have them in the, I think I ate a box, but now I have one box left over and I'm just kind of munching on that as I as I feel like I want a cookie, I guess. <laughs> and I'm just really loving it. So that would be a food favorite for this month. My second food favorite for this month is actually the Everything But The Bagel Seasoning from Trader Joe's. I still wanna look up like what other people are using that for because it says that you can just put it on top of anything to make it feel like you're having an everything bagel. But I don't really eat bagels. I can't imagine putting it on bread. But for some reason I got the idea one day to just sprinkle it on my eggs and I've been really into that. It's just like more flavor on a bunch of egg whites that just have vegetables in them. So maybe that's why I'm really into it because my eggs are otherwise pretty plain. But I think that is a fun way of just like spicing up your food. And one of my New Year's resolutions was to get more creative with food and just like eat better tasting food instead of just using food as fuel. So that everything or every, yeah, everything but the bagel seasoning is really helping me do that. So I'm really happy about that. Lastly, I guess we'll call this my fashion favorites or like, well, okay, it's my fashion favorites. And I recently bought some new leggings from Amazon. You probably just watched that video on Monday my favorite leggings from that whole Amazon haul would probably would definitely be the 90 degree mauve leggings I did think that they were gonna be more of a light purple when I ordered them but I love 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 like that color is a favorite of mine just in general and then the 90 degree leggings just seem to work really well for me I have another pair of 90 degree that are hot pink actually and they have like lace on not lace they have cutouts I guess you would say like there's a kind of cut out design on the side of the legs. I really love those. I think they're really flattering. I got the hot pink pair from Marshalls for like $15, which is incredible to me to get that cheap of a legging that looks that good and is that comfortable. I can squat in, I can do upper body and I can do cardio in whatever. And then the mauve ones I obviously got from my Amazon haul, which is better for you guys because things at Marshalls, like once you buy it, it's not there anymore. But on Amazon, you can just go and I'll link the leggings down below. I linked them in the previous video, but just so you guys can have everything here, I will link them down below as well. And they are so comfortable, they are so pretty. I think they're very flattering and I'm really, really happy that I bought those. They were more like $25. They were not more than $25, I know that for sure. So yeah, that's more expensive than $15 from Marshalls, but $25 leggings, yeah, I'm gonna say yes to that every day. So. That's gonna wrap it up for me. Those are my January favorites. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you try anything out that I mentioned today, like the eye masks or the cookies or the leggings, if you buy those. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and turn post notifications on. Give this video a big thumbs up for me because that really helps my channel grow and I will see you guys next time.